they go back to either her for fiduciary or general fund, or et cetera. Um, anyway, that's a brief overview of the auction process that we're using at the moment. Um, I'd like to thank Bonnie and building and maintenance guys and the individual road yards who have helped with delivery of these <coughs> items. And um, that is all I have at the moment. Any questions? Any questions, gentlemen? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I have a few. Okay, Mr. Weller. Uh, yes, uh, appreciate the presentation. Uh, uh, when this uh, process started, I was assured there would be a written procedure that we would follow. Uh, I did not receive, maybe I missed some email, I did not see, receive a, a written procedure that is being adhered to. Does that exist? Yes, sir, there is a written procedure that, that Mr. Crosby um, developed that uh, we are following. We are in the process of folding that procedure into the uh, county fixed asset policy, and we expect to bring that to the board in the not too distant future also. Well, I would ask that I be presented the written procedure as it stands presently, uh, as it is followed, I presume, by you and the people associated with this, uh, as you're working with it. I would like to see the procedure as it is now. I would also like to know, uh, where do we reconcile the funds? How do we, how do we try to reconcile these funds according to the procedure associated with any sale versus what's deposited and so forth? And I presume, I presume the procedure addresses that. Um, yes, it does, sir. course of the first seven months of this program um, our total sales of items sold is approximately eighty three thousand dollars thank you okay uh, Dale can I have a copy of that procedure as well yes sir okay if there's no questions then we'll continue with the uh, to the next item um, item 12 mr. Winger that's number 12 is notification of small counties forum. That's this week, tomorrow, 6 p.m. at the CSA building. And then the County Supervisors Association meeting the following day, Thursday the 17th at 10 a.m., also at the CSA building. Okay. And then we have uh, the NACOG Council of Governments. That's a meeting on April 24th at 9 a.m. at the High Country Conference Center. The address is shown there, 201 West Butler and Flagstaff. And so that's the notification as well, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you. Is, does that come, is that all the items on the agenda? I believe so, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Nothing else we to read them. There's a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The Board of Supervisors meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.